Hello everybody, this is Ali from Truth for One Coding and in this tutorial I'm going to get you started with programming. So the first thing you want to do is what do you want to code? So in other words, do you want to code a website, do you want to code a game, or do you want to code an application? So typically websites are coded with HTML and CSS, while games are used with CSS and some other languages too. Now, if you want to code an application, there are languages like Python and also a lot of others that you use along with it. Now, in this tutorial specifically, we are going to be using HTML and for websites. So, the next thing you want to do is install a code editor. So, the code editor is where you will be writing your code, debugging your code, and then you will open it up on your browser to see your code. So I recommend VS Code for its, because it's very easy to use and it has a lot of good features. So for that, we go to code.visualstudio.com slash download. So you should be on a, some, on a screen somewhat like this. And if you're using a Windows computer, download it for Windows. If you're using a Mac, down for Mac. Whichever computer you're using, download accordingly. So once you've downloaded it, you should open it up. And once it loads, you should see a screen somewhere like this. Now I have a theme, so it's gonna look slightly different, but you should see these same elements. Now to create a project, we're gonna go into our desktop and we'll create a folder. So we will go ahead and rename this folder and call it my first coding project. Now we can go back to our editor, click this open button here. We did it in our desktop, so we'll click desktop and we'll open up my first coding project. Now to get you set up, this bar over here is all the elements inside of our folder. Now, if we create an index.html, which is what is used to write HTML code for websites, this is where we'll be writing our code in this big rectangle box. Now I can get you set up with some of the extensions. So on this bar on the way left, we can see this extensions. So the first extension is called live server. So live server is an extension that it has a feature where every time you save your code, you don't have to go to your browser and reload to see your code update. It's meaning you just have to save your code in Visual Studio Code and it will automatically update on the browser. So this is just makes your writing code a lot more efficient and enjoyable. Another extension is called beautify so this one here so what this does is in your code let's say i just write some code here and let's say it gets really messy eventually which eventually will happen to you sometime not on purpose like this but it'll start to look really messy and hard to read so all you have to do is right click anywhere on your screen and click format document. It'll clean everything up and make it look much more clean. Now for live server, we again right click and instead we click open with live server. So that will open up. We don't have any text written, so it'll just be blank. Now if we just went in our body tag and we just created a heading and we wrote hello world Okay, so to save our code, we do Command S on Mac or Control S on Windows. So you know your code is not saved when in the top here you have this white dot. So now we see that white dot is gone. So now if we go back to our browser, you see that we didn't have to reload and it automatically updated. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I have a theme. So if you want a theme, if you have a specific name of a theme that you already have in mind, search that up. Otherwise, just go ahead and search theme. There's a ton of them to choose from. So let's just say I pick this one, which I've already installed. So 
you can click the install button and set it as color theme. So if I click set as color theme, we can see that our theme has changed. So again, if I go here, if let's say I install this theme. Once it's installed, I can pick the options to dark blue. Now if we go, we see our code just for the aesthetics of it, if you'd like to do that. So now you're set up with a code editor and you know a little bit about what you're doing. So now you're ready to follow some of my other tutorials. And if this video helped you, please consider liking and subscribing as it would really help me out a ton.